she like pulled me into the washroom and then from there she just was getting like naughty in the washroom it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah Pretty incredible skies, gorgeous, gorgeous night in late October, guys. Appreciate nature and the small things in this life. Is that right there? Natural beauty. Heaven sent. But let's eat some chicken skewers soon.
Yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm certainly doing great myself because in front of me I have a delicious sort of uh, Greekish spread. Um, not the most technical thing to throw together just because like, you know, I didn't actually screw the chicken myself or do anything like that. It's kind of a, the grocery store helps me halfway and then I help myself halfway. It's a 50-50, you know, 10 minute meal kind of thing. You know what I mean? Pretty simple, but a big flavor, like Vivi Delish. So uh, yeah, let's get into it because I'm starving and we shouldn't waste too much time talking, but we do have to, of course, a pour, a apple. And today we've got all the ice. See how it's breaching? That's how I like it. My ice needs to breach over the, the rim to compensate for the semi-warm Dr. Pepper that's going to go in and surely melt down the ice a little bit and knock it down. But we get knocked down. We get up again. And they're going to keep me down. Chumbawamba, baby. You guys know Chumbawamba? Yeah, you must. Piss in the night away. I was pissing the night away the other night on Halloween. Well, it hasn't actually officially been Halloween. It's just Halloween weekend. And then, you know, there's a pre Halloween weekend Padres. And I went to a nice Halloween Padre and I had myself a good ass time, baby. I had myself a great night because. I got some booty. I got some booty. If you know what movie that's from, I respect you as a human being and appreciate you as a subscriber. Now, we must drink. That, my ladies and gentlemen, is a fine tzatziki sauce. And speaking of tzatziki, Let's get freaky with this guy right here. We got ourselves. I didn't get pita, I got naan. Because I couldn't find any pita in the store. But inside we do have the tomato, the onion, these souvlaki-esque I think they're actually if I'm being honest they are more what is that word P not peri-peri but the other one tandoori they're a little more tandoori I believe but yes yeah, cucumber tzatziki and it wouldn't be my video if I didn't bring an extra little Zaz packet. See what I mean? Meet me halfway. Pre-made tzatziki. I didn't have to chef it up. Sometimes you're a busy guy and you just don't got the time. But ooh wee. That's happiness. Certified. Certified happiness. In a non bread. Short question for you. Is non bread considered bread if it's non bread? <laughs> but doom -tsh moment. Mmm. -hmm. A little too nice. The grilling of the chicken is an absolute requirement. I 
I just absolutely love the texture and taste of like pita and naan. It's a non-issue. Mm. A type of food sandwich, whatever you want to call it. Half flap taco. I don't eat enough does not get enough play in my repertoire. Why? Jury's still out on that. Considering I love sandwiches. Is this considered a sandwich? I believe so. Okay, so on these guys, I actually added one other ingredient. And that, my friends, is a local hot sauce by the name of Heartbeat Hot Sauce. You can buy it on Amazon <coughs> from my home city. And uh, it is a blueberry habanero, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it's a blueberry hot sauce. I figured I'd give her a go. And I was trying to keep this video a little low carb. Between these two, we're clocking in at 86 carbs. And this is my fasted meal for the day. So at the end of this, I'm coming in at like 90 carbs, so it's not too bad of a day. Mm hmm. Juicy. Just like my Halloween night. Just like the story I'm about to tell you. So the other night, my dad's like best friend with the onion I had a big Halloween party now I've known this guy since I was 13 14 he's 50 I don't know ish in his 50s and uh, he's a baller he's got like that so Their Halloween parties are no joke. Spare no expense. If you know what movie that's from, I also appreciate you. So, I was kind of hurting the day of. I was kind of like, man, I don't think I'm going to go. I'm laying in bed. My sister was all getting ready and shit, and her costume's sick and whatever. And uh, in this moment, my party self just starts developing FOMO, 
fear of missing out. So, last second Hail Mary, I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll come. Turns out there's a extra Beetlejuice costume laying around. We could do it up real quick and, you know, I, I got a costume, ready to roll. But, we were in such a time crunch, and since I'd been like laying around in my feelings all day, I like didn't shower, I was just very whatever, you know, no prep. Uh, no expectation for anything to go down because I really thought like there'll be nothing f like you know it's kind of older people at this party they'll all be like married or in relationships or whatever what have you so I get done with this Beetlejuice looking disgusting because Beetlejuice looks disgusting Roll out to the party. Roll in. I shit you not. Well, first off, it was the dopest decorated Halloween party I've ever seen in my life. It was insane. Like, I don't, these people dropped cake on this party. Um, but also, on top of that, it was... There was like five Beetlejuices there. <laughs> We're all just like, what the fuck? Like, why are we all Beetlejuice? So we're all just laughing. We're taking these Beetlejuice pictures together. Like, we're calling, we're calling it a Beetlejuice convention. So when you roll in, there's just a bunch of randoms there. And then at this one table... So they have these little like eating table stations because the guy's got a huge garage and he threw it in his garage. It's just crazy. So at this one eating table station, I see like these this young crowd and there's this one girl there dressed like little Red Riding Hood and she's like, you know, she's like shorter, fit, um, of my flavor, like a little more exotic looking, and. Uh, so I immediately scope her out, and I'm like, if there's any girl at this party, like, damn, that's the one, right? So, just kind of, I'm not really drunk enough yet, though, like, I'm just kind of just rolling in. So I just cruise around for a bit. Pouring up, like, the stiffest vodka drinks. And then eventually, I'm outside by this. They had a fire in a cauldron, like a swinging cauldron. So I had this cauldron fire going. I'm out there. I'm kind of talking to these other people that I that I that I know that I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm like holding a cigarette in my mouth, and I I don't have a lighter, and I'm kind of like just in this conversation. I'm like not really paying attention to like I don't have my cigarette lit yet. And I don't know where. The girl, the little red riding hood girl, is like her arm just comes out of nowhere, and there's like a lighter, and I'm like, I look over, and it's her, and she's like trying to light my cigarette, and she's like, and then just in that moment, I was like, okay, I got this. I see what's going down here. So I just started cracking jokes immediately with her. And then we just started chopping it up, started talking. She's mad funny and, like, super forward and, like, just, like, very, very, like, immediately kind of X-rated. So I was like, I think I see where this is going. Turns out she is the nanny of the child that is, like, my dad's friend's child. Like, because, you know, they're busy and wealthy and shit, so they pay a nanny. So she's the nanny. She's 28, and uh, she's a wild child. 
So her and I just start hanging out and uh, <laughs> we head over to, she's like, I want some wings. And I'm like, sick. Like, I love wings. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging this girl already hard. And so we head over to like, they had this whole food station. We had, they had these like, these uh, steam trays, like full of wings, like hot trays full of food, wings, whatever. So we head over there. Or like getting wings and she just starts like kind of backing her ass up into me i'm like whoa, whoa, whoa like okay get it girl i didn't say that but my head was th at that area you know i would never say that to a girl uh <laughs> but uh yeah so like that was just it was getting a little crazy and then um we went near the washroom and she like pulled me into the washroom and then from there she just was getting like naughty in the washroom <laughs> so we're doing like some you know some 14a washroom business and at that point like it's just it's very apparent what's what's going to happen this this eve this hallows eve so we're talking about because they these people live kind of out in the country but we're talking about like let's head to town and like go out and then eventually she's like end up at my place so i'm like bet that's legit so we we end up in town and like we found ourselves attempting to like go out to bars but the whole time we were at the bars we were like what is the point of this like we both know what we want to happen here let's just go to your your house and just call it a night like she's like i came out looking to get freaky tonight i'm like i didn't at all plan for this because like i just wasn't even planning on coming out and i'm like not in good sh man shape to like you know like like hygienically at the time to like be doing this but you know what we'll we'll make our way around that we'll figure it out so we just gave up on like going to halloween parties we we're like clearly like this is just we want this to go down this is what's going to go down <laughs> like it's all good so we headed to her house and uh when we got there i was just like okay hey, look like i did not prep for this i really didn't plan for this to happen tonight <laughs> and i'm ill prepared like i need to like clean up you know what i mean and she was like she's like oh yeah totally and because she had makeup on and i had a full face of makeup she's like let's just take a shower and like i'll, I'll like help you get your makeup on and shit so like we we just took a shower got like completely clean <laughs> and then she helped me take my makeup off and shit we had like a very like makeup party if you want to say like she got all like be makeup from her costume she helped me because she's the woman and knows like has all the shit to do that because mine was like on there <laughs> and actually at one point her i got stuck in her washroom i was like i'm just like all drunk too and she like she left the the, the shower and her handle i guess from the inside if you close she didn't tell me this but when you close the door like her handle was busted from the inside so like at one point i'm just stuck in her bathroom just like trying to get out and then i'm just like knocking on the door and be like i'm stuck in your bathroom like i wasn't freaking out or anything i was just like I'm stuck in your bathroom. You need to come get me out of here. <laughs> so, and then of course, just took it to the bedroom and, you know, tidal waves. <laughs> but yeah, you, you know what goes down in the bedroom. So, I did all that. And then, of course, you're having like your pillow talk. And she's like, I'm not looking for anything here, by the way. She's like, she's just like, it's Halloween. I'm an independent one man. <laughs> I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I shouldn't say that, but she was just like, this is just funny games, right? And I'm like, totally. I was like, I'm in no position to be in a relationship right now. I'm kind of sworn off relationships for a while. Until I feel 
that I'm a pl out of place in my pursuits in life where like I can actually work that into my like life but right now no I'm, I'm, I'm the last guy looking for anything she's like good that's perfect she's like I don't need anybody getting attached it's like no worries you won't get that from me So it ended up to be a very good night. She was really fun, outgoing, chill, hot, accommodating, helpful. <laughs> All qualities look for in a partner. All right, I stayed the night. And then in the morning when I left, I was like, This could be fun again, you know, but I said to her, I'm like, do you want to exchange like any information here? Cause like we hadn't done anything like that. And I was like, like, should I get your number or whatever? Should we swap numbers? And she was like laying in bed. She's like, I thought we weren't going to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but like for future fun, like just for some future fun. And she's like, mm, okay, yeah, let's do that. And then so she like gave me your number. And, uh, I'm hesitant because you know what? Future fun done enough times can, can lead to like feelings. And I don't know that I'm, actually, I do know that I'm not trying to be in my feelings. And I can sense that she isn't either, but we had a good vibe, a really good connection. And, you know, as men and women, we have our needs, you know, so It's just a matter of can you stay true to saying that all you want is fun? It's a fine line. Especially when if when you're having fun and it's like casual fun, you've actually randomly found like a quite good fit or connection with somebody that you know what I mean and that's where that's where all the trouble begins that's where it all goes keep tongue but all in all Good night. Always happens like that too. It's like went out with no intention. Was ill prepared. Boom. What the fuck happens? Of course. But that's what Halloween's for, no? Going out in a costume, releasing your inhibitions a little bit. Especially for the ladies, it's like it's definitely a night where you don't get all that bullshit. You're just allowed to be a little more sultry, if you will, <clears throat> and uh, just have some fun, you know. Just express yourself. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna hit her up or not, but. 
it's possible. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. I sure did. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true, clothing store, merchandise, top corner, info card. Okay, <laughs> love y'all, peace. Mm-hmm.